Well, a dramatic seiche on Lake Erie literally drained trillions of gallons of water from western Lake Erie, displacing it into eastern Lake Erie during a wind storm through the day Monday. So this resulted in a drop in the water levels across western Lake Erie of about seven and a half feet registered near Toledo, essentially draining all the water from western Lake Erie. That water it's got to go somewhere. It was displaced to eastern Lake Erie, where the water levels rose about six feet over near Buffalo, a difference at one point in the afternoon on Monday of 13 and a half feet in the water table. The difference was from western to eastern Lake Erie, all driven by the wind. Now you may imagine, what would that look like if you were in the western basin of Lake Erie? Well, we've got some pictures to show you as well. This one from Maumee Bay State Park, typically near the break wall area where the water would be up to those steps. And if you notice, it's very close out there. There are people walking on the bottom of Lake Erie. What would it look like then from Lake Erie looking back toward the shore? You could see the exposed lake bed where trillions of gallons of water were displaced in the western basin of Lake Erie during the rare seiche and high wind event that occurred on Lake Erie on Monday.